All right, everybody, welcome to a very special segment of Truth and Facts. I got my homeboys on here. Uh, I would like to call it a Chicago connection, but, you know, they from the outskirts. But uh, I got my man, Chris Hardasty and Mr. Vinny Johnson. What's up, fellas? What up, all? Hey, man, thanks for being here. Uh, give you guys a little background on them. Uh, Chris runs Jackson uh, Boxing Club in Nebraska. His father used to actually run Whiting Boxing Gym. Those of us from back in the day, we remember what that used to be, Whiting Boxing Gym in White, White Illinois. And Vinny is from that gym. Um, he also trained in that gym also. Vinny is also part of the WBC Legends of Boxing Museum. He's one of the founders. And, um, man, there are a lot of good information but uh, I just want to say that, uh, it's, man, it's an honor to have both of y'all on here. And uh, Chris, you know, I was telling Vinny, I'm going to tell you, I remember your father, the gym he ran was one of the only gyms that some of the inner city kids could go to. Because outside of uh, Windy City, that was all we had. And that was your father's gym was one of the only ones we could go to, man. So I appreciate your dad for letting us go to his gym, man. So, all right, man, tell, uh, why don't you give everybody a little layout back about yourself. Start with uh, Chris first, because Vinny is in California. He's in his sunshiny state, man. Uh, as far as my background, uh, I don't know, I, I grew up in my dad's boxing club. Uh, I loved boxing my whole life. Me and Vinny, we used to, we used to train together back at my dad's gym. Um, uh, had some amateur fights, never turned professional. I got a gym here in Nebraska. Uh, got a lot of good fighters, a lot of good talent, a lot of, a lot of kids. Pretty, pretty decent amateur team. And, um, uh, we keep it free. We keep it free just like my dad's gym. Back in uh, back in uh, back home, we, we keep it free for the kids and uh, try to do something positive for the community. Okay, I uh, appreciate that. And Vinny, give us your background, man. Uh, r- real similar, you know. I I, uh, I grew up in Whiting, man. I've known Chris for for many years. I grew up uh, going to his dad's gym. Like I was telling you a little bit earlier, man. Um, I remember being a kid, like just kind of peeking my head in the door and you know seeing the fighters in there and be like, man, I think I could do that, you know. And uh, you know, we trained in there for a while, um, and then uh, that just led me to a lifelong love for uh, for the sport. I ended up in California some years back, um, and uh, through a lot of circumstances and things that kind of fallen in my lap, I ended up working with the WBC Legends of Boxing, and we uh, built the museum in uh, it's in San Bernardino, California. Um, it's at the American Sports University, so we built the museum, and we did uh, in 2008. We did our initial uh, induction for basically it's, uh, WBC fighters, mostly. However, uh, there's no qualifications to be a WBC champion, but um, and that's kind of where where I'm at now. And uh, just you know, I used to write for uh, Ringleader Sports, Ringleader Fight News, uh, write for them too. So, all right, that's what's up, ladies and gentlemen. Do not adjust your screen. Yes, I am the dark, pretty one, and they are the bald head white guys. <laughs> Uh, so, uh, <laughs> well, <laughs> it's a ball head thing, but I got the I got the lights on behind me. So, all right, we're going to jump right into this. And as always, I like to tell everybody, this is the part of this show is a debate, okay? These are our opinions based off some of the facts that we know and know. And that's why I wanted these two guys on it, because they have a vast amount of experience and knowledge. So the topic we're going to touch on is, is boxing headed in the right direction? Uh, I was talking to a friend earlier and he said that, you know, he was talking about Floyd being gone, this big boy being there with Floyd being gone. And I told him, I said, you know, boxing, not like how it used to be, like doing the, doing this, like Ray Leonard was the man, but that you still, you was building Hagler, you was building Hearns, you was building Durant. Uh, same thing with the Tyson era. You was, you had Tyson, but you had, still had De La Hoya, you still had Mark Breland in those guys. I said in boxing, missed a great opportunity because they were so focused on Floyd and Manny that nobody else got a chance to be built up underneath him. So, from 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 that, I just wonder: is boxing headed in the right direction? You know, which, you know what do you guys think? Give me your opinion. I'll give you mine later. We start with you, Vinny. What? Uh, how, how do you feel about where boxing is going today? I think boxing's definitely heading in the right direction. Um, you know, one of my things, one of my pet peeves is people say like boxing is dead and it, it, it has died in a sense in the mainstream. It has been dead for a long time. And I can give you a perfect example. Um, when I was writing for uh, Ringleader Fight News, we did this little thing. We went outside and we we're just kind of walking downtown uh, in Hollywood and we we're asking people, who's the heavyweight champion of the world? And this was in uh, maybe 2012, 2013. 
Nobody knew. You would be, you'd be surprised about people who said Mike Tyson. Uh, <laughs> be like, I, I don't know, the British guy, you know, like, uh, and be like Lennox Lewis. They're like, yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, the mainstream <sighs> has definitely died, but everybody knew who Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao were. So in a sense, you're right. Um, there was so much hype around them that there wasn't a lot of development of the other stars. They were developing as fighters, but not as stars. But I think with uh, with what PBC is doing, um, I think the other promoters will soon follow. And, uh, you know, it's only been a little over a year. People are ready to make or break PBC. It's going to take some time. But I think boxing is absolutely headed in the right direction. I think it's going to come back to the forefront. Never what it was, but it'll definitely come back to the forefront. Mm-hmm. Now, you know what? Let me ask you this one question. Do you think that that the ability to to find its way is 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 more better now that floyd is is like like guys ain't waiting for that big fight so they're gonna have to like if anybody wants to fill that slot they're gonna have to fight each other you think with floyd being going that we'll probably be able to get more of the fights that we've been wanting i i don't know how to really answer that because i think floyd did two things man he set one precedence which was um for, to become this major massive star and now everyone wants to be that you know so that's kind of a problem um, so people don't want to take the risk because they don't want to lose they want to be that big huge star uh, the other thing he did was he set uh, uh, another precedence to be great you know he is the one fighter in the past you know 20 30 years who not I'm not saying he's the only great one but he's the one who proclaimed greatness you know walking around telling on TV I'm the best out of that people believe this people walk around and say Floyd Mayweather is the greatest fighter of all time um so he, he set those two precedences and they can go either which way I, I think with the sport okay man actually that was a really good answer that was a really, really good answer all right Chris what's your take? A hard time hearing you both okay I'm sorry all right Chris what's your take on it man that was a good answer I got- I got to agree a, a lot with what Vinny said. Um, I, I think a lot of people, I think kind of just, I don't know, I, I, I guess just walking with the, with the Floyd topic for a second, I think a lot of people are really hoping that he comes, people want to keep their zero on their record, hoping that Floyd will come out of retirement. Um, because people still want that fight. People still talk about, I mean, us three, we're, we're part of a, a lot of few Facebook groups that talk about boxing. And everybody talks about, oh, he should fight Mayweather. He should fight Mayweather. He's fucking retired. He doesn't box anymore. Right now, he doesn't box. It's, it's not even a relevant topic. As far as, like, boxing going where... Is, is it heading in the right direction? Who knows? It, you know, I, I really can't answer that. It's, it's one of those things where every time we think it's going in the right direction, it just stays right here. It's been right here for a long time been right here for a real long time we had the Pacquiao Mayweather fight that was probably the biggest draw in boxing for a really long time and the casual fan didn't like it the casual fan should have been watching Pacquiao versus Marquez that's what the casual fan should have been watching the casual fan if, if, if that fight had the type of promotion and the type of exposure or any any of the Pacquiao Marquez fights or a lot of the Pacquiao fights for that matter had they had that type of exposure that the, the Mayweather fight did, we'd probably be going right here right now. Yeah, that's why I, I can't understand for the life of me why PBC isn't blasting Deontay Wilder all over the place. The casual fan would love this guy. I mean, he's knocking everybody out. He, he's he's mm-hmm. young, he's American, he's exciting. Um, and he's not even that good. To knock out power. I was just going to say, talk. yeah, he's, he's vulnerable. Cool. He's, he's a vulnerable champion. I'll finish say that too. He's a vulnerable champion, which which makes for excitement. Like nobody's. Yeah. If you if you if you look at boxing right now and compare it to rap music right now, you'll find a lot of similarities. A lot of the people that are paying a lot of attention and criticizing it really don't know a whole lot about it. If you look at like a lot of these new rappers that are out today. They're just like the, the the worst things ever, and it's just based off of what people tell us, what the media tells us. Um, it tells it, it's all this shit is just spoon fed to us, and twenty five percent of the population that are boxing fans believe it or don't believe it, and then the other seventy five percent actually do believe this shit. You know what's uh, what's funny is that uh, Vinny, you still there? Yeah, you you know what? Yeah, no, he's still there. You know what's 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 funny is uh, 
I remember listening to uh, this song my daughter was playing, right? And I was like, what is this you're listening to? <laughs> and she's like, oh, this is the new such and such. And I was like, and it took me back to when my mom was like, when, when I was playing my music when I was her age, and my mom was like, ooh, this music is really getting weird. And I remember listening to what she she was listening to, Waka Waka or Stanky Leg, whatever. And I'm like, oh, my God, is this what I got to deal with for the next month or so? <laughs> like, are you kidding me? And, you know, and, and you're right. And I, I, I think that I believe that, that, that boxing has never been a part of for a very long time. And I want to say maybe like middle 2000. Boxing has never been part of the mainstream media conversation uh, like it should be, unless it was a big fight. If it wasn't a big fight or a main fight, they never really covered it. I mean, so it's just like even now, most of the information I get from boxing is through social media. I don't really go to yeah. ESPN to find out something about a prospect. You know, I don't go to, uh, uh, you know, um, uh, AOL and stuff to find out about a prospect. M- most of the stuff is through social media. And I think that that's what I, when I talk about it being a missed opportunity, I think it's a shame because I don't have anything against Gennady Golovkin, but I think he wasn't brought up the right way as far as trying to make him a pay-per-view star because most pay-per-view guys were on someone's undercard before they became the man to do the pay-per-view. And you look at uh, 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 3G, Terrence Crawford, and Postal. I really hate that didn't do well because I promoted that fight. I thought it was great. But I, I think that, you know, there's a rush to find the next star. So it, it, it makes me wonder, is boxing going in that right direction? Like, what are some of the things that we can do better to make it more, you know, out there for everybody? Uh, Chris, what do you think? They need to, the boxing people need to let boxing people run boxing. Okay. That's it. Boxing people need to run boxing. They need to start letting outsiders, they need to stop letting outsiders so far into the sport because they got a couple dollars in their pocket. That ruins the sport. That ruins the sport. It's all, it's, it's, there, there's, there's, there's no, there's no gray area. It's either I want to be filthy rich or I, I, I or I, I'm not going to be filthy rich. Mm-hmm. If you look at, um, Bo, you're a Bulls fan, aren't you? No. And I will admit that. <laughs> all right. Well, either way, Back when Jordan was playing, you remember oh, well, Jordan yeah. took Jordan Jordan took a pay cut to keep Scottie Pippen on the team. Right. Right? Right. He did. He sacrificed something to be great, to continue to be a a, a, a great athlete or, or an icon or whatever. Fighters today don't do that. Fighters today they, they want the high paycheck. You look at what Danny Garcia's dad just said not too long ago about why fight one of these guys when he could fight a Salka. That's that's garbage. That's a that's a that's a garbage statement from a from a champion's trainer. It's a garbage statement, you know. That's why I hope Berto wins. What about you? Vote. What about you, Vinny? What do you think boxing can do to get back to you know get back to to get back to being on track like it used to be? I think that you could um, eliminate the entourage walks and change the ring ropes to black. <laughs> well, black makes everything better, baby. I can tell you that. <laughs> no, I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of things they could do. I, I really like what Chris said. You know, you got to let boxing people run boxing. But um, one thing that I, I don't know if PBC is the right brand to do it. But what I would like to see is a more um, similar to how UFC has the market cornered on MMA. I would like one promoter to have the market cornered. And then the promoter to actually put contracts on these people. The best have to fight the best. Sure, maybe not as much as MMA because these MMA fighters, their career is so short, man. They win a world title at six years and after getting two or three wallopings, man, they're done. I don't mean six years, I mean six fights, I'm sorry. Right. Um, but something similar to that, you know, I, I wanna see, I'm so sick of hearing the term Cold War. And um, I know Terrence Crawford isn't gonna fight Danny Garcia. No. They can talk on their Twitter all they want. They're not going to fight. Terrence Crawford's going to fight Tim Bradley. Terrence Crawford's going to fight Manny I'll Pacquiao. Be, He's going to fight top ranked stable fighters. Right. That's, Is there money in that for him? Absolutely. But it's not It's not what we're, we're missing that stuff, you know? And you know what the sad part about that is Terrence Crawford is a guy that will fight Danny Garcia. Like, if he don't mm-hmm. fight him, it's not right. his fault. You know? Absolutely. I agree. You know, and I've said it before. He got... 
Terrence Crawford uh, is probably one of one of, one of the top guys out there to me because he's got that dog in him where he don't just want to be the best by running his mouth. He want to be in there with the best and prove that he is the best. And so far, if you look at like you look at what Danny Garcia did at 140, it seemed like after Matisse, they just put it on cruise control. But they you look not, at they built that fan base. Yeah, mm-hmm. but you look at Terrence Crawford, man. You got Delore, man. You got uh, Gamboa. I mean, he just. Each challenge, he was just going up and up and up, you know, and, and I, I, you, you want to, that's the kind of guy you want to see. Like, you know, he's not going to tell you that he's afraid to lose. Oh, he's going to go out there and see if you can take it. And I like that about him, man. Oh, uh, um, one more thing, uh, uh, one more thing. Um, do, you, do you guys think that one of the things that might be hurting boxing is sort of the negative tone? Like, you have these... These these clicks that I like to call them, where either you like my fighter or you don't know what the hell you're talking about. Like, like you're that, a flopo or a pocktard. Yeah, yeah. Do you think that type of tone has to go? Yeah, I I don't know because it's like I'm a Bears fan, right? Mm-hmm. So every time around this year, man, I start giving hell to my Green Bay friends, my friends that are Green Bay fans. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. So I think it's good, but I also will tell you that Green Bay has been a better team for many, many years. I also give credit to Aaron Rodgers and Brett Favre and their coaching staff and so on and so forth. The problem here is if you're a huge Pack fan, then Mayweather's a runner. If you're a huge Mayweather fan, you know, Pacquiao's beaten up, you know, has been or whatever. You know, people are always going to find something wrong. And that that, that part I don't like. You know, we, we do need to get to the point where we're actually just... We could be a fan of a fighter, and we can dislike a fighter, but we got to still acknowledge the other fighter's skill set. I agree. Chris, Chris, what about you? You know what, man? Those aren't re- those aren't boxing fans. Those guys aren't boxing fans. True. They're not. They're, they're not fans of the sport. They're fans of a fighter. You know, I, I I live here in Omaha, right? And I got a slew of people that are huge Crawford fans. Right, and everybody says the same thing. Oh, Pacquiao's ducking Crawford. Like Pacquiao don't make these decisions. You know, we got to stop being fan of fighters and be a fan of the sport if we're going to critique other fighters. If you want to talk about a certain fighter, because that's your favorite fighter, if you want to talk about him, talk about him. But you, you can't critique every fighter out there if, if you're just a fan of one fighter because it's just it's just it's an unfair opinion. Grant, you know what? That's that's so very true. It's like. I always say, and you guys hear me say it in the room, criticism got to be fair. Otherwise, it's, it's kind of like a personal agenda. And a lot mm-hmm. of these, a lot of these writers, kind of bother me, you know, because like um, they'll put something out. Like Dan Raphael put out a tweet, and he told you what Andre Ward's, what the person was for the Andre Ward fight. And I'm like, who cares about that? Tell me about how did he look? You know, what did he do? You know, you know what I'm saying? Like stylistically, how will they match up? It's like. These writers, they don't ever tell you about the fight. They'll tell you everything else but about what happened with the fight. I'm like, that's a missed opportunity to, you know what I'm saying, to, to, to bring up a star to me. Oh, the writers are a huge problem with the downfall of boxing. Imagine imagine Mayweather's, imagine boxing, pop, boxing popularity if half of these writers would have actually called out Mayweather on fighting this guy and fighting that guy. You claim to be the best? Go fight that dude. Go we'll fight this guy. Instead, a lot of these dudes ride as nuts because they want an interview. They want to be in the Mayweather Boxing Club and all this. Writers, writers and, and reporters and all these guys, they stop calling the fighters out. Back in the day, they call the fighters out. They, today, they right. just don't call they them out like they used to. Yeah, that's what true. I said they sway public opinion. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Right. If, if all these fighters are coming back and saying, come on, man. You, you're taking this fight when you got this guy sitting here waiting for you, and then all the fans start believing it. That you know, hurts their pockets, and then they're gonna fight who they have to fight, or that, their pride, pockets or pride. That's that's that, that's actually you're already right because like when I hear a writer tell me about how somebody don't bring no money or or they're bored, I'm like that's not your job. You know what I'm saying? Like that's not your job. Like we we could get. Frampton and Rigo, if the writers was like, hey, this this is the best versus the best, regardless of money, we could get uh, Pacquiao Crawford. We should have got, like, I, uh, mm-hmm. uh, Floyd Mayweather fought Andre Berto, but for that 49th fight, like, I felt either the 49th fight, you should have fought Pacquiao to try the 49th fight, or you should have fought Thurman. But, you know, Andre Berto, I mean, I, I understand why some people was upset when they're picking Andre Berto, because you're tying a record, 
And it kind of was a cheap way to get it, but if writers would have been like on him about it, who knows what we would have got, you know? So I, I definitely agree with you guys, man. So I right, um, we gonna we gonna we gonna wrap this up right here. Uh, anything you guys want to add, or you know, something you guys want to promote? That's it, man. Jackson's Boxing Club in Omaha. That's it. <laughs> That's it. If you're in Southern That's California, you come check out the uh, World Boxing Council's Legend of Boxing Museum. Right. It's at the American Sports University in San Bernardino. And I'm going to make sure to put that in the video and the link for you guys to do it. All right, uh, guys, I want to thank both you guys for joining, man. I'm, like, really geeked out and excited to have you guys on the show. Um, appreciate you guys coming, man. I hope we get to do this again. Uh, Chris and Vinny, thank you so much. Truth and facts about boxing, you guys. <laughs>